Morning, August 22nd. Um, Solomon's Song, verse, uh, chapter 5, verse 8. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, if ye find my beloved, that ye tell him that I am sick of love. Such is the language of the believer paint panting after present fellowship with Jesus. He is sick for his Lord. Gracious souls are never perfectly at ease except they are in a state of nearness to Christ. For when they are away from him, they lose their peace. The nearer to him, the nearer to the perfect calm of heaven. The nearer to him, the fuller the heart is, not only of peace, but of life and vigor and joy, for these all depend on constant intercourse with Jesus. What the sun is to the day, what the moon is to the night, what the dew is to the flower, such is Jesus Christ to us. What bread is to the hungry, clothing to the naked, the shadow of a great rock to the traveler in a weary land, such is Jesus Christ to us. And therefore, if we are not consciously one with him, little marvel if our spirit cries in the word of the song, I charge you, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, if ye find my beloved, Tell him that I am sick of love. This earnest longing after Jesus has a blessing attending it. Blessed are they that do hunger and thirst after righteousness, and therefore supremely blessed are they who thirst after the righteous one. Blessed is that hunger since it comes from God. If I may not have the full-blown blessedness of being filled, I would seek the same blessedness in its sweet bud pining, in emptiness and eagerness, till I am filled with Christ. If I may not feed on Jesus, it shall be next door to heaven, to hunger and thirst after him. There is a hollowedness about that hunger since it sparkles among the beatitudes of our Lord. But the blessing involves a promise. Such hungry ones shall be filled with what they are desiring. If Christ thus causes, causes us to long after himself, he will certainly satisfy those longings. And when he does come to us, as come he will, oh, how sweet it will be. August 22nd, he, dot, 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 began to wash the disciples' feet. John 13, verse 5. We forget that Jesus Christ is the same today when he is sitting on the throne as he was yesterday when he trod the pathway of our world. And in this forgetfulness, how much we miss. The Gospels are simply specimens of the life that he is ever living. They are leaves torn out of the diary of his unchangeable being. Today he is engaged in washing the feet of his disciples soiled with their wilderness journeyings. Yes, that charming incident is having its fulfillment in thee. My friend, if only thou dost not refuse the lowly loving offices of him whom we call Master and Lord, but who still girds himself and comes forth to serve. And we must have this incessant cleansing if we would keep right. It is not enough to look back to a certain hour when we first knelt at the feet of the Son of God for pardon, and heard him say, Thy sins, which are many, are all forgiven. We need daily, hourly cleansing from daily, hourly sin. F. B. Meyer August 22nd As my Lord sees, I am come, 
and if there is any grace or forgiveness of sin to spare, I beseech that I, thy poor handmaid, may be partaker thereof. Evening, August 22nd, The Unsearchable Riches of Christ, Ephesians 3 8. My master has riches beyond the count of arithmetic, the measurement of reason, the dream of imagination, or the eloquence of words. They are unsearchable. You may look and study and weigh, but Jesus is a greater Savior than you think him to be when your thoughts are at the greatest. My Lord is more ready to pardon than you to sin, more able to forgive than you to transgress. My Master is more willing to supply your wants than you are to confess them. Never tolerate low thoughts of my Lord Jesus. When you put the crown on his head, you will only crown him with silver when he deserves gold. My master has riches of happiness to bestow upon you now. He can make you to lie down in green pastures and lead you beside still waters. There is no music like the music of his pipe. When he is the shepherd and you are the sheep, and you lie down at his feet, there is no love like his, neither earth nor heaven can match it. To know Christ and to be found in him. Oh, this is life. This is joy. This is marrow and fatness. Wine on the lees well refined. My master does not treat his servants churlishly. He gives to them as a king giveth to a king. He gives them two heavens. A heaven below in serving him here and a heaven above in delighting in him forever. His unsearchable riches will be best known in eternity. He will give you, on the way to heaven, all you need. Your place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Your bread shall be given you, and your water shall be sure. But it is there, there, where you shall hear the song of them that triumph the shout of them that feast, and shall have a face-to-face view of the glorious and beloved one, the unsearchable riches of Christ. This is the tune for the minstrels of earth, and the song for the harpers of heaven. Lord, teach us more and more of Jesus, and we will tell out the good news to others.